Whoever did that is pathetic. All right, what up, people? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a challenge in which we try not to puke. And you might be wondering, what kind of challenge is that? We went online and found a bunch of different combinations of foods people actually use in their daily life, which is pretty weird. I, I, I don't like to judge people, but anyone that chooses to eat food like this, they're freaking weirdos. Well, you don't know that. That's why we're doing the challenge. I am 47 years old. And if one of these things were actually good, I think I would have known about it, okay? But these are all new to both of us. We didn't even know this was a thing until uh, last night when we looked it all up. So this should be pretty fun. So we're gonna have five rounds, aka five combinations that we are trying and testing out and we are gonna let you guys know whether it's good or not. Let's do this now. All right, up first, this might look like a normal sandwich to you guys. Well, it's not. This is a peanut butter and pickle sandwich. I like peanut butter and jellies, and I do like pickles, but I don't know if I Ooh, shall the like the combination. It looks a little creepy. What kind of peanut butter is this? Normal. Mm. <laughs> Bread's like dissolving. Ugh! No. That is a definite no for me. That's a no. I love peanut butter and this just, the vinegar and the pickle or whatever it is just ruins it. That's disgusting. It like makes the bread like fall apart. Ugh. It's weird. It, do not do that. Who if you don't have- Who likes that? <clears throat> Devils. Who likes that? That is just nasty. Yeah. I, I thought this one was going to be good too because I like me some peanut butter, but- <clears throat> Yeah, if you don't have jelly for your peanut butter and jelly sandwich, don't think a pickle, putting a pickle on is a good idea. Don't do it. Don't do it. Next we have avocado and chocolate. I have my own chocolate because she's special. And I have normal milk chocolate. I honestly think that this is gonna be good. I know it's gonna be terrible. I know it's gonna be decent. It's like you're taking two good things, combining them into one, and it's gonna make a bad thing. It's like if you have two really hot people and they have a kid, the kid's more than likely gonna be an ugly AF. That's you know? true. Looks like our kid's gonna be ugly AF, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Okay. Mm, mm, mm. All right, there we go. Um, is this a freaking seed particle in my You're fine. avocado? That's like no avocado. That's a. I have double your chocolate. No, it just you looks don't. We have the exact same size. No, no. Okay, ready? Uh -huh. Oh god. Not really tasting the avocado. Me neither. It just tastes like bad chocolate. It just makes the chocolate like mushy. I don't taste the avocado at all. I tasted it there. Not good. <coughs> oh, I don't like that. <coughs> I like them both separately. Together, it's a no. It's a no, no, no. No! 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 Like what? Is this dessert or like an know. appetizer? I don't know. Like when would you when would you want to mix avocado? That's probably something I can see you doing that. No, if you melt, I know if you melt chocolate and avocado, it's supposed to make it like the chocolate all creamy. Maybe we're supposed to melt it. Maybe. You're just not bringing that up. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be some chef on here. You morons! You melt it together and then you put it on a nice bolognese. Bolognese is bologna. Oh. Right? No. Off to round three. Now this round here is something I am extremely excited for. We have honey. We also have a jar of bee poop. Aww. You see it? I called her honey. I'm totally getting hugged. But on the real though, we have a jar of honey and we also have a plate of french fries, home cooked. And uh, we're gonna see if uh, honey can replace ketchup, mustard, This is some brand ranch. new honey. Is it really? Oh wow, look at that. I yeah. honestly think that you can't go wrong with this one because it's like carbs and sweet. Well, I used to eat honey on pizza, like the pizza crust. Oh, yeah. And I'm assuming this is going to taste, taste the same. extremely similar. Mm, yeah. Mm, I feel like I can't really taste the honey. That's all I taste. I would rather have a biscuit and honey. Oh, but... this is good. This is not bad. I'll eat this again. So you only taste the fry? I only taste the honey. No, I kind of taste the honey. I'm not mad about it. I just wouldn't do it. You know? Like do it as in what? Like eat it or like do it? Like, like do I it wouldn't right. like make it myself. People are going to be like, Claire, you can't eat honey. You're vegan. And you want to know what I say to that? Suck my butthole. All right, not bad. You know, I would much rather eat biscuits with honey. Maybe a side of chicken, you know, from KFC. It's finger licking good. But french fries and honey, once again, I'm probably just going to use the ketchup. But I don't think it was bad. It wasn't gross. If someone gave it to me like as a gift, I wouldn't be sad. Who would give someone <laughs> a plate of french fries <laughs> and a thing of honey as a freaking I don't gift? Know, I don't know. Uh, hey, happy happy 30th birthday. Here's a plate of fries and some freaking honey. Could you I'm going to give someone that gift. They're going to be like Bruh. 
right, this next one that we're doing is actually something we learned recently that people here in Texas do. Yeehaw, partner. So pretty much what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to buy Dr. Pepper, which we have. You're supposed to buy a pack of salted peanuts, which we have. We are going to open the Dr. Pepper, sip some of the Dr. Pepper, and then put the peanuts in the Dr. Pepper. People swear by this down here in the south. Down here in the south, they may only the don't talk about with the border, baby. Why is it so shooketh? I am shooketh. This is probably gonna be pretty good. I haven't had Dr. P, Dr. P, Dr. Dr. P, Dr. In like, probably like three years. Yeehaw! Oh, they float? I thought they sunk. Wow. Physics. Science, math, algebra, e algebraic equations. Ooh, completely different smell. Does it? Mm -hmm. So do you shake it up? Maybe we give it like one little turn One here. turn? Yeah, we'll give it one turn. Wait, why don't you give yours one turn and I don't okay. and we'll see the taste difference. Turn, up. Turn up. Oh. All right, here, you drink yours. We'll both drink yours and we'll drink mine. Okay. <laughs> don't say anything. Let's drink yours. <laughs> you know, I, I would definitely like do good. that again. It tastes like, like, but more like a candy. But I want to like do it soda. to taste it. I would just do it to fit in. No, so what do you think about it? Like literally, it doesn't taste good or bad, but it just seems like not worth it. And the only way I would do it is if everyone was doing it, you know? It's like, oh, come on, all the cool kids are doing it. Then I'll definitely fall into peer pressure and pour nuts inside my Dr. Pepper. I think it's good. I think it kind of makes the Dr. Pepper taste like a little bit more like candy and not a soda. Like it gives it like a, I don't know, like a toffee flavor almost. Yeah, it's definitely like, I get why people like it for sure. Like what if you were allergic to peanuts, you know? Well, then you wouldn't put them in there. <laughs> Orange juice! All right, for the last round, because we ran out of monies from the grocery <laughs> store. There was about a billion combinations, but we could only afford five because we are not monetized yet, and we're just poor. We have no friends. It's true. <laughs> just trying to succeed in life, but we can't because we suck. OJ Oreos cup. How much OJ do you want? You stupid butt face. Definitely got significantly yeah. more. Oh, I love OJ. How is that legal? That is not good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was like a chocolate dunked orange creamsicle. Like literally though, it's awkward because I absolutely love orange juice. Like you could pour orange juice on a dead squirrel and I'd probably eat that. Probably that one squirrel you hit. She murdered a squirrel, by the way. You like it? Honestly, no, but it's orange juice and I like orange juice. <laughs> if you can get past that first bite, cause it, it hits you. That OJ chocolate combination really bites. It burns your tongue. But honestly, the whole shebang is not bad. I just don't really understand it. I kind of have a stomach ache. I do too. Mm. I kind of want to try avocado and orange juice. Do it. No. All right, so babe, what was your favorite food combination or your least hate hated one, I guess? My least hated was the french fries and honey. So you like that the most? No. I didn't really like any of them a lot. But you didn't hate it the most. Yeah. So you hated it the last. The least. The least. Yeah. What did I say, the last? The last. <laughs> what was yours? Honestly, it's probably a tie between the doctor. P, doctor, P, doctor, doctor. Oh yeah, the actually fries I changed my answer. And the Oreos. I liked all three of them. They were all tied for not last. I changed my answer. I think the Dr. Pepper was the best. What was your least favorite? The peanut butter pickle yeah. sandwich? peanut butter pickle. Peanut butter pickle can smell my pickle. Peanut butter 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 pickle. Pe all right, you guys, well, that is going to be it for this video. Make sure before you leave to like and subscribe. Okay, bye. No, you always say bye. Pickle, 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 pickle